It's been a very bad year for law enforcement. The shootings and the killings, I've, I've never seen us have this many. A record number killed in the line of duty. Later that day, I received the call. I wish none of you that are sitting here with me will ever receive. Beyond that, there have been calls to defund or even abolish the police. I'm tired of my black men and my black women being shot. It has an effect. They don't appreciate the efforts. They don't appreciate, you know, the fact that there's somebody out here that's still actually trying. Yeah, that's what most police officers are doing. Morale is down. The system continues to fail us. It's harder than ever to recruit new officers. We are not safe anymore. So we at KTBS Television decided to change the narrative. Find the positive stories. I see him being kind to the children. From law enforcement across the Arklatex. This is the guy. And share those stories every single week. White, yellow, red. You know, none of that mattered. He's a child that needed a home, needed a family, and he was mine. We met a father teaching his mixed race son how to play baseball and to be proud of what his daddy does for a living. And I hope that's something that he takes and shares with his friends, and, you know, we can change that mentality of, of what the world sees us as. A mother walking young women through the horror of sexual abuse. They are heroes because she has been there herself. It's just amazing. It's like the color in their skin gets brighter. Their eyes light up. An African-American police That's officer good. being the father when you get, when you get past, so many don't have. Just looking back at him, I saw, I, I saw a lot of me in him, you know, and just potential. He just wanted me to be a better person than I was. So, I mean, that's, a, that's somebody I can trust. That's somebody I can call, like, family. An SRO showing high school kids cops can be cool. He's the coolest cop on campus. Coolest cop on campus. Yeah. If they need some stern talking to, yeah, I'm going to do it. Because I know when he talked to me, I know not to do it again. Smart. And at the same time, you know, if they need a shoulder to cry on, yeah, I'm here too. Corey, that's my dog. He's like, he's like really changed my outlook on police officers altogether. A 20-year veteran demonstrates the power of a simple wave. I wave to everybody. Most of the time they wave back, sometimes they don't, and I don't hold them against it if they don't wave back. I, I try to connect with the people in my neighborhood. Not everybody waves back. Again, I don't hold it against them. But if you don't make the effort to try to reach them even on something as simple as a wave, you may never reach them. All right, they must grab We this. saw what sawdust and time can do. That'll work. I've seen that it works. There you go. For a young boy. Well, I told you going straight. If he's in trouble at another school, he could call Deputy Edwards. And just to talk, not to, you know, say I want you to do something, just to talk and to know that, that I do have somebody on my side. And when this boy was dying on a football field. And she looked at me and said, I can't find his pulse. Who showed up? You dad. Because I got to thinking about why were we really there? Somebody put us there for a reason. I, I believe, I believe God had us there for a reason. Um, and it was to save his life. That's the only explanation I could come up with. A life saved and a mind changed. How would you express your feelings towards them? It's love. Really? Yes, sir. That's what we hope will happen. I hope it touches hearts and changes some minds. Right. Slowly. He's not just a cop. Methodically. He's my friend. <laughs> over time. I'm on your side. I'm here for a reason. I'm here to help you. I'm not necessarily a police officer, but I'm a peace officer. We think it needs to be done. There's a lot of men and women that laid their life down for others. We think it has to be done. We are not safe anymore. Not even the members of the service. In a nutshell, we're all still human. We are, we're, we're fathers, we're mothers, we're sisters, we're brothers, we're coaches, we're teachers, even some of us are preachers out here. In, in a nutshell, we're just like you, okay? On the other end, the only thing that separates us is a badge and a gun, okay? But at the end of the day, we're the same.